All right, let's take a look at the type of problem we did in class today. I'm going to take a look at making some pancakes, and we want them to turn out right. And the box says that in order to make 14 pancakes, I need two cups of mix. So I'm going to take a look at the relationship between pancakes and cups of mix. For every two cups of mix I have, I can have 14 pancakes. That's the ratio between the mix and the number of pancakes that I can actually make. Written as a fraction, that's going to be 2 over 14. So the relationship between mix and pancakes is 2 over 14. Well, let's simplify that down to the lowest fraction we can make out of it by dividing the top and the bottom by the common denominator. 2 divided by 2 and 14 divided by 2 gives me 1 to 7 or 1 to 7 of cups of mix to pancakes. As a decimal I can find out what the value of 1 over 7 is by looking at 1 over 7 as 1 divided by 7. That's another way we can write this. Really mathematically that means 1 divided by 7. And when I divide 1 by 7 when I get 1 divided by 7 the decimal equivalent of 1 divided by 7 is going to be 0 0.1428 we'll stop there 0 0.1428 0.1428 is the decimal equivalent of 1 seventh. Let's see what we have with this next ratio. My friend tells me that they like to make 21 pancakes and according to their calculations the correct mixture would be 3 cups of mix to 21 pancakes. Well as a fraction that's going to be 3 over 21. When I simplify 3 over 21 by dividing the top and the bottom by the greatest common factor, which is 3, I once again get 1 seventh. And you can imagine then, when I go to calculate the decimal value of 1 seventh, I'm going to end up about 1, 4, 2, 8. I truncated, I didn't round. Another friend comes in and says, well, you know, to make these pancakes, I want to make 26 of them. And from what I calculate, I need 5 cups of mix. So what you're telling me is that 5 cups of mix will yield 26 pancakes, or 5 over 26 is the same relationship as 14 over 2, 21 over 3. So let's take 526 and try and divide it out, and we can see right off the bat there 5 and 26 don't share any um, common factors except for 1, and therefore they cannot be simplified. And in fact, if I look for the decimal equivalent of that. Pull my calculator again here and I take 5 divided by 26. That's going to be equivalent to 0.1923 about. So if I look at this as 5 divided by 26, it's 0.1923. I do not end up with the same decimal equivalency and I do not end up with the same simplified ratio for all three of these. So these two may be proportional to each other, but this table does not show an entire proportional relationship because this one falls away. So if we were to graph this, we would not end up with a straight line. And basically that's what we were trying to do in class today. We were trying to determine whether the relationship showed by the table was proportional and we would get so far until in that one case we found that our numbers didn't match the numbers in the rest of the table showing that the relationship did not, the, the entire relationship shown in the table was not proportional. Let me know if this helped at all. I hoped it did. Um, if not, shoot me an email and we'll, um, we'll continue. Alright, thanks.